Good morning, everyone. I am so happy to see you again, and I hope you are all doing well. I am plum out of granola, so today we are going to make a great big batch of it. And for the first time ever, we are going to make buttermilk granola muffins. But before we do anything, we need to make a short trip to Tierra Farm. The farm has the best organic oats, nuts, seeds, and dried fruit. They have everything we need for our granola. So please take a drive with me just as soon as I finish this coffee. Tierra Farm is only a four minute drive from my house, but you can shop there too. The farm generously provided me with a free shipping code that I will link in the description below this video. As I mentioned earlier, Tierra Farm is my favorite source for all things granola. I'm like the proverbial kid in a candy store here. We are home again, and here is my Tierra Farm haul. All of these bags are compostable, and all of the ingredients are organic. I really prefer shopping at a place like Tierra Farm rather than some generic supermarket. It's a totally different vibe. And remember, you can shop at Tierra Farm too, and I will put a free shipping code in the description below. Going to clear the decks, grab a couple of big bowls, and then we can get cracking on our granola recipe. Depending on how fast you want this granola to bake, you can preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 160 degrees Celsius, or 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius. I'm going to go with the higher temperature. I'm going to double my usual recipe. So I need four cups or 325 grams of organic oats. And I'm going to put the four cups in each of these two bowls. One cup or 85 grams of shredded organic coconut. It wasn't quite a complete cup. And you certainly do not need to be super accurate with measurements here, okay? 
one cup or thereabouts of organic unsalted hazelnuts. A lovely sound. One cup of pumpkin seeds. I'm using these organic raw European pumpkin seeds. They're much larger than, I guess, domestic pumpkin seeds. Give this a mix. Then I want to stir in three-fourths cup or about 177 mils of avocado oil. You could use coconut oil here. And one-third cup or 80 mils of pure maple syrup. And of course, this is the syrup that we purchased at Tierra Farm. The oil that we added earlier will help the maple syrup to become dispersed evenly. And then I need one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. I always take off this shaker thing so that my measuring spoon will fit in the jar. Now, I know we have made granola in the past, but I always make it a little differently every time. And boy, do I love having granola on hand. I love granola with yogurt for breakfast. I love the granola cookies that you and I made for a tea time treat a few videos ago. And of course, I love granola on ice cream for dessert. I'm pouring this out on a parchment line baking sheet. One granola down. I just realized I did not need to dirty a second bowl. Too late now. So for this second granola, I'm going to use some of the same ingredients as the first granola but there's going to be a slight variation. So you won't have to write anything down. I will link my master recipe for granola in the description below. Let's throw these two trays of granola into the oven. I will let them bake until they turn golden and crisp, about 30 minutes. I'm going to add the dried fruit to the granola after the granola has finished baking. In the meantime, I need to clean up my workstation, and then I'd love to show you the seeds that are germinating under lights over in the north wing. This is the seed starting station that you and I put together in a previous episode. The sweet peas have already germinated, as have the parsley, basil, Roma tomato, zinnias, and one single purple Brussels sprout.
pelargoniums that you and I purchased a few weeks ago are thriving under these lights. The plants are currently budding up and will bloom soon. I also have bell peppers and celery started under lights. The peppers are just starting to germinate. My granola has been in the oven for 30 minutes. It's starting to turn brown, but it's not quite as brown as I want it to be. So I'm simply going to give it a little toss. And then I will return these trays to the oven for probably 15 additional minutes. My granola was in the oven for a total of 45 minutes. It is beautifully brown now. I'm going to let it cool for a few minutes on the pans and then we can decant the granola to bowls and I will amend the granola with some extras. I'm going to add dried fruit to this granola and of course you do not want to add the fruit while the granola is piping hot or the fruit would turn sticky. I'm going to add about one cup of these organic dried wild blueberries to the granola that contains hazelnuts. And to the granola that contains sliced almonds and pistachios, I'm also going to add one cup of dried blueberries plus one cup of organic dried mulberries. If you want to add more than a cup of the dried fruit, go right ahead. There are no rules with granola. I'm going to reserve one cup of this granola which we will use for our granola muffins. And then I will transfer these to jars a little later. Actually, I want to have a taste for you. Mm-hmm. Both of these granolas are fabulous. On to the buttermilk granola muffins. And I am using a recipe from King Arthur. I have not tried these muffins before. So I weighed out 227 grams or two cups of all-purpose flour. Now they said to use white whole wheat flour, but I don't have that. So just all-purpose flour for me. Then we need one cup or 213 grams of either light or dark brown sugar packed. Just going to break this up a bit three-fourths of a teaspoon of regular table salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of baking soda, three-fourths teaspoon of ground cinnamon. This is the cinnamon that you and I bought together earlier at Tierra Farm. Then whisk. The brown sugar is a little clumpy in this mixture, but the recipe doesn't say anything about that, so we will let it be. Then it says to add the granola and whisk it in. For the liquid ingredients, we need one and a half cups or 340 grams of buttermilk, one third cup or 67 grams of, they say vegetable oil, I'm using avocado oil, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is the vanilla extract that you and I made together, but two months ago, it smells divine. 
And it was so easy to make. And whisk. Add the wet ingredients to the dry. And then stir it with a spoon or a spurtle just to combine. I love these spurtles. They're wooden spatulas. Now, my oven has preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. Then I'm going to spray the openings of my muffin tin. This is just a standard size muffin tin. I think those liners are kind of a pain to work with. I might regret not using them. Now we are supposed to fill the openings of the muffin tin to nearly full. Now we are to sprinkle the muffin tops with a little of the granola, if desired. And I definitely desire additional granola on top. We need to bake these muffins in the preheated oven until a wooden skewer inserted in the center comes out clean. It's going to take 16 to 18 minutes. While we're waiting for the muffins to bake, I'm going to decant my granola to jars. Granola will keep perfectly well for a week or two, just in a covered jar. But for longer storage, you can vacuum seal, which I'm going to do for some of my granola. So I have these leak-proof screw-on jars lids. <laughs> so I have three quarts of granola that I have covered with a leak-proof lid and the last two quarts I'm going to vacuum seal for really long-term storage. I love this vacuum sealer. Brilliant invention. I can link it in the description below if you are interested. A perfect seal. This last bit of granola will be my breakfast tomorrow. Might even be a midnight snack tonight. Not to boast, but these actually look better than the muffins in the King Arthur picture did. And boy, they smell just awesome. We need to let these muffins cool for a bit before we can tuck into them. Meantime, I need to bring Avery for a walk in the garden. So I hope you will join us. My property borders a forest which, of course, is filled with forest creatures. I keep Avery on a leash when we walk in order to keep both her and the forest critters safe from harm. I do let Avery run off-leash in my various gardens that are fenced.
I will let Avery run loose in the fenced pool garden while you and I visit the kitchen garden. Here is the romaine lettuce and matador spinach that you and I winter sowed. Despite our recent snow and bitterly cold temperatures, the seedlings are thriving in their milk jug containers. Lovage and rhubarb are emerging now in the kitchen garden. And the garlic that you and I planted last fall is growing with gusto. Of course, this is the time of year when even a single dandelion can put a song in my heart. I love this season of rebirth. It was really windy outside. I'm glad to be back indoors. Well, these muffins are coming out of the muffin tin just fine. I'm not going to eat all of these muffins. Not right now, anyway. But I do want to enjoy one with you for afternoon tea. I think we should try some of this citrus green tea that we purchased at Tierra Farm. So it is organic green tea, organic ginger root, organic orange peel, organic peach pieces. Sounds good. Oh, it smells wonderful. So both the muffins and the tea will be a new experience for me. And I did already warm this teapot. I don't know if the muffins will require it, but I'm going to add some emotional support butter to this tray. Let's head into the parlor. I have a cat at my feet. He would very much like to join us for tea. And I would very much like to try one of these muffins, which smell just incredible. These muffins are very interesting. So you have the bit of granola inside each muffin, plus some of the granola on top. So there is a distinct crunch. The muffins are not sweet, even though we did put one whole cup of brown sugar in the mix. I think they're very good. These would be great for breakfast when you want something sweet, but not too sweet. Now for the tea, which I can tell you has a heavenly and heady perfume. It's lovely. And it's delicious too. So this is black tea with orange peel and peach bits. Ah, it's really delicious. And I do not think the muffins require any of this emotional support butter. Thank you for spending time with me today as we shopped at a local organic farm store and we made two big batches of granola and we turned some of that granola into these delightful buttermilk granola muffins and we even had a little walk in the garden. I really appreciate your company. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up 
and I can put a couple of my other videos at the end of this one that you can enjoy between now and my next upload. Until then, please treat yourself well, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.